This is Ren Alcantara, Editor-at-Large at Gadgets Magazine. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We're here to deliver the most relevant topics in tech, lifestyle, and motoring so you can stay up to date with the latest news all in one place. First off, we take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, Smart Communications has rolled out 5G connectivity in key business districts of Metro Manila. In this initial phase of its commercial deployment, Smart Signature, Infinity, and other Smart Post paid subscribers using Smart Certified Handsets with 5G activated SIMs in the Makati CBD, Bonifacio Global City CBD, Araneta City, SM Mega Mall, and Mall of Asia Bay Area will be able to enjoy the service. Smart 5G is also being rolled out in key high traffic areas such as North Avenue in Quezon City and Taft Avenue in Manila, as well as in the Ortigas CBD and Clark Green City in Pampanga. These are all among those who will be able to initially enjoy the service. Through partnerships with device manufacturers, Smart will also launch its initial lineup of Smart 5G certified devices from Huawei, Samsung, Realme, and Vivo, which will be available with Smart Signature plans in select Smart stores. Customers can sign up for Smart Signature Plan at Smart Stores nationwide or via the Smart Online Store at www.store.smart.com.ph. In other tech news, with the pandemic stalling all scheduled sporting events, premier gaming laptop brand Predator recently launched the Predacast All-Star Masterclass, a series of online workshops especially geared towards gamers of all levels. From July 21, the podcast started streaming on the Predator Facebook page and featured Predator brand ambassadors or Predator Masters sharing their thoughts, expertise, and some encouragement. The Predator Masters also revealed other opportunities that gamers can explore apart from playing games including content creation such as vlogging and streaming, cosplaying, esports event management, streaming technical providers, and becoming professional esports athletes. As a treat to the loyal fans who have joined and interacted with the Predator Masters during the episodes, Predator will be hosting a star-studded last episode wherein the top engagers will be able to meet and greet the Predacast All-Stars through a live video conference. Grab the Philippines Everyday Everything app together with the National Task Force on COVID and the BCDA is furthering its commitment on platform safety as it launches its RT-PCR testing site for its driver and delivery partners in Metro Manila. Located in Quezon City Memorial Circle, driver and delivery partners can avail of the free-of-charge RT-PCR testing starting July 30, 2020. This two-month initiative is additive to the recently rolled out Grab Protect program, which further raises the bar of safety and hygiene across Grab's suite of essential services. Now, let's take a look at Pit Stop and see what's going on in the world of mobility. Motor Image Pilipinas, or MIP, the exclusive distributor of Subaru vehicles in the Philippines has rolled out a new online one-stop shop. Subaru Speed, which stands for Shopping Platform from Electronic Inquiry up to Delivery, aims to help customers make an informed decision as they journey towards owning their dream Subaru without having to physically step into the showroom. From brochure requests to pricing information, virtual and actual test drives, and dealership and financing options, Subaru makes it easier to check out your next vehicle from the safety of your own home. For a more in-depth look and experience, visit www.subaru.asia/ph/speed. As a first motorcycle brand to be on the e-commerce giant in the Philippines, KTM fans and enthusiasts can now conveniently reserve a KTM motorcycle anytime, anywhere. Upon the brand's inception on the platform in October 2019, Lazada has visibly become one of the fastest growing frontiers in selling motorcycles online. As a celebration of this partnership, KTM sponsored a KTM Duke 200 motorcycle that was raffled off last 11-11 via Price Slash, which generated at least 100,000 slashes, promoting the brand inside and outside of Lazada. Aside from this, Filipino Lazada shoppers will have also begun to understand the concept of reservation vouchers and placed pre-orders online of the upcoming and much-anticipated models such as the 390 Adventure. To date, KTM has successfully fulfilled motorcycle sales with the help of the platform. This convenient setup is also a timely business and customer solution during the pandemic. That's it for Pit Stop. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the lifestyle world. In lifestyle news, 
While movie theaters still have yet to open, SM Cinema gives its patrons the perfect opportunity to see upcoming films through its newest out-of-home entertainment experience, the SM Cinema Drive-In Movies at Sundown. Opening at the SM City Pampanga Amphitheater, the SM Cinema's Movies at Sundown allows guests to watch movies on the big screen while observing social distancing rules set by the Interagency Task Force. Starting Friday, July 31st, 2020, it will be open to the general public, featuring the movies Train to Busan 2, Peninsula, and My Spy. Guests will be assigned their own parking spot and are going to be guided by traffic marshals. Once settled, spectators can see the film of their choice on a 20 meter by 8 meter screen raised 3 feet above the ground and will be asked to tune in to a specific frequency on their car's FM radio to broadcast the audio straight into their vehicles. Two persons can be inside the vehicle and a maximum of four guests will be allowed. Attendees must also be between the ages 21 and 59 pursuant to the safety guidelines set by the IATF. And for additional safety, viewers will also be asked to stay inside their vehicles with their masks on and practice social distancing all throughout the duration of the movie. Tickets for SM Cinema's Movies at Sundown must be purchased online in advance at www.smtickets.com to ensure an uninterrupted viewing experience. No tickets will be sold at the venue, and viewers are advised to arrive at least 30 minutes before their scheduled screening. And that's it for today's installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your regular rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website, and see you next time. Thank you.